I'm done here, man. There's a car right there that uh, Scotty Kilmer is always saying is not really a great car. You know how he doesn't really like Fiat Chrysler. You gotta go see this guy's channel. He's really popular. But then, why do people buy them? If they're not so great, why are they so popular? And I gotta tell you that <laughs> people don't care about whether it can be fixed or not. That's not what's important. Well, I mean, they do, but they're not the ones that are gonna be fixing it. My claim is people buy cars for looks and comfort and for speed. On to the next, whoever that might be. On the wrong side of the street. Oh, look at that. I didn't do that. Somebody dumped it out there. again I'm trying to make a video look what happens to me the truck is full I gotta park it better than that and this is when you find something large when the truck is full never even heard this name before <laughs> Isn't that just my look? You know I can't go to the compound and then expect the stupid thing to be here. Should I knock on the door? Empty the truck out? At the compound and then come back? Tell the people I'll bring it all the way up to the to the driveway? <sighs> That's what I think I'll do. I think I'll knock on the door and see if I could uh, push that all the way up the driveway because it's either that or I'll try and stack it in. That's how my look goes. Well, nobody's answering the door.
I was hoping I could every tire is flat how does every tire get flat like that wow what a piece of junk Well, now I got my work cut out for me. And uh, I am blocking a driveway, so I'm going to move up. Which, you know what happens when you block a driveway. A car has to. A car either has to leave or enter the driveway. Anytime you block a driveway. So. To prevent that from happening, move up. Now look at the problem. Now my commenters will say, why didn't you back up instead? This is only about five feet. I know, I sure work hard for my, my money, man. Whew. Now the commenters will say, why don't you keep a rope or a chain in your truck? And you could drag it. I've done that before. I don't know. I'm clumsy. Why, why would, I got a better way of putting it. Why would I not, <sighs> why would I not keep a chain or a rope in the truck? Okay, here are the suggestions coming. Why would I choose deliberately to not do that? Because <clears throat> you're stupid, kingdom, okay. That's a valid reason, I suppose. A pickup truck doesn't have a trunk. You know, like a car. Yeah, like a Toyota, it's got a trunk. Where do you keep the stuff in a pickup truck? There's no place for it. If you keep it in the bed in a small box, it's been, it doesn't work. None of that stuff. All those suggestions don't work. You can't. You can't keep it. Please invent for me a reason, like a system that works. Because none of those systems work. You keep a box in here, where would it go? Okay? The first thing I put in here, I have to move the box. I don't know. I don't think people find scrap on the magnitude that I do so um I don't know I don't even, I don't even know how to put it I think most people don't find scrap on the magnitude well most people on YouTube because I don't see any like I haven't seen one scrapper channel yet that is like any of the scrappers 
So I see you around here in Joliet with stacks and piles of scrap. Every day. Sometimes twice a day. The truck filled with scrap. It's either they're too busy to make YouTube videos, they don't want to, or um, they're afraid they'll end up giving away too many of their secrets. Or because a lot of them speak Spanish. They just don't want to. Because if you think about it, the Latino culture kind of laughs at this idea right here. Making a YouTube video about scrapping. They're more all about, well, they're a little bit more like me. Kind of a little bit. They're just about getting the, getting the bull work done. And, uh... Saving the bullshit for the for the for the coronas for the cervezas <laughs> when the work's done. And me, I don't know. Maybe I'm somewhere in the middle there. Because you don't see no Mexicans taking ten thousand miniature breaks per day. I mean, they work solid and straight through. There's a neighbor guy, man. He drives really weird. I don't like standing behind my own truck. So anyway, the point of this lousy video was why when I have a full truck does this happen? It's such nonsense. <laughs> Kingdom, you could put it down there and you could... Uh, uh, it'll be hanging off, man. I'll get pulled over. I have to make it big enough. Why didn't you stack your stuff? That would be a uh, jackpot. Well, that's the wooden thing. I'm sick of uh, Too much yapping. If you make that any narrower, the wooden sides become weak. And when they become weak, they will fall out. Because of the, the, the bullshit construction of this thing. It's drywall screws. Somebody else would have to build this. Because I suck as a construction. I'm not a guy like that. This is just um, two by fours that were notched to fit in those holes and then screwed in with some drywall screws. That's it. Uh, well, I didn't film that part, me loading it in. It'd be too much like sausage being made. Showing the world how I do stuff like that. Forget about it. Forget. Needless to say, the front end came off. Oh well. It's garbage. I think it's that doesn't make itself known. <laughs> On to the next. Wherever that might be. Work to the sweat of your brow. thrown out of the Garden of Eden. That's a lot of work, Kingdom. Or right, people, when they see you working that hard, they're like, is this worth a lot of money? I'm like, not nah, really. It's probably worth about $25 maybe at the most. Scrap and that's 
that's all I know. You. I'm happy. You guys be happy watching. We're all happy. <laughs>